Okay, this is going to be the intro to Strawberry Wine as performed by um, Deanna Carter or Dina Carter. I'm not sure which one, how you pronounce that. But um, it's the pedal steel intro played on the Duesenberg. Keep in mind, we're in the key of C sharp, which would be in root position on your 11th fret, right? But we're going to be working off the 6th fret because with our benders down, the 6th fret gives us a C sharp. So the, the intro sounds like this. We're going to start with this third string bender down, and we're going to be working off our, with this third string bender down, we're going to be working off the second string bender. Sounds like this. And it's in 6-8 or 3-4 time, uh, but I'm calling it 6-8. <laughs> Slowly. And I'm wondering how to how to do that. That's the sixth of your scale to the uh, to the root note. Or not, yeah, is that the root note? Yeah, I believe that's the root note. Let me try that. Could do that a couple different ways. Okay, so like I said, start with that, that third string bender down, and then your thumb's going to be on your third string, and then you're going to be plucking your first and second string. So the first one you do, and you, you cut it off short with some pick blocking, like that. And then you can do it again, let it ring out. And now your second string and third string bender's down, and you're just going to, you're going to let off that second string bender and then go to your third string with the third string bender down. Sounds like this. Notice when I play the third string bender, my index and, and middle finger come down to mute out what I just played on my first and second string. One, two, three, one, two. So here's the first measure. Now you're gonna go play that play that first and second string. Now the whole time my third string bender is down, right? So the last part is. Now that's how I'm playing it. Once again, picking that first and second string, sixth fret, no second string bender, but my third string bender is down. Notice how my thumb touches that third string to mute it out. Now I'm going to go to my fourth string, eighth fret. And then I play that sixth uh, fret, third string, with my third string benders always down through the whole song, basically. And that's how, when you, when you come to this eighth fret, fourth string, my bar is tilted up. That's going to be the hardest part of this whole thing, is trying to get from that 8th fret to the 6th fret 3rd string. Or what you could do is just simply slide that 8th fret up on your 4th string. That might actually be easier. But you, then you get that boom, which it's not what I necessarily hear. I hear, you know, he's playing pedal steel, so I'm sure he's right in one position where he doesn't have to make a big bar jump. That's how I'm kind of playing it, that quick kind of jump. So one, two, so keep in mind these are, it's in six, eight, so this, this quarter rest here uh, would be like beats one and two, and you come in on beat three. So one, two. Okay. Now, keep in mind this is in C sharp, so this whole measure is C sharp, your first measure, and then it goes to your four chord, your F sharp. Okay, and then let that last note ring out for half note, which is four eighth notes, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> 